Do you know what the bank charges are for using PayShop to make payments if you bank with Time Bank? If you already know what PayShop is, then there is a timestamp in the description below which you can click on to jump to the specific section talking about the bank charges. You will be required to link your phone number to your bank account either through the online system or through the banking app. Then if you require someone to make a payment to you, you can just issue them with your shop ID instead of your full bank account information. So a lot of people do not prefer to give out to anyone, which they can then use to make a payment into your bank account without even knowing what your bank account number is. These payments are near instant and only takes a couple of seconds to reflect in your bank account, regardless of which banking institution they use. As long as they are registered for the PayShop payments, you will get the money almost immediately. Just the other day I made a PayShop payment from one bank, in my case being NetBank, to another bank. In that specific case was Capitec Bank. The intended recipient messaged me that they received the money before I could even download the proof of payment to send it to them. Now that is super fast. And depending on which banking institution you bank with, that will be the determining factor in what bank charges you will pay if you want to use the PayShop payment mechanism. And one big plus is receiving a payment through the PayShop system is always free. It's only bank charges related to these services you are making a payment. The PayShop payment transaction is limited to 3000 bucks per transaction and currently your pay shop payments will be limited to 5000 bucks per day regardless of how many people you make payments to therefore if you want to make more than a 3000 bucks payment in a single transaction or if you want to pay more than 5000 bucks in total per day then unfortunately you have to use regular banking payment methods and you cannot use the pay shop payment service just remember these bank charges are per transaction not per daily total of payments then we are looking at the specific fees that time bank will charge you for making a pay shop instant payment from your bank account and you pay to someone that has a shop ID, then there is no bank charges for using this instant payment system. Other banks also have the option to make instant payments to people without any shop IDs, and you would just require the regular banking information. However, Time Bank does not have this option with PayShop payments. And PayShop payments are also available for individuals and businesses. The biggest selling point I can see for PayShop payments would be your informal sector like for instance Facebook Marketplace or the other forums where people sell goods privately. Where you would be going to a specific person instead of going to a shop to buy any goods or services. And you don't want to take all the cash with you seeing it's not all that safe these days traveling with large amounts of cash with you. Bearing in mind that you have the 5000 bucks daily limit. So if the goods or services are more than 5000 bucks, then unfortunately you will probably have to take cash with you. The person wants cash before delivering the service. But as long as it's less than 5000 bucks, then you can use the PayShop payment service. Thing is, this is currently the cheapest options you have available for instant payments. And if they don't have a shop ID already, then you can just play them one of my videos that explains to them what PayShop is and how to set it up. And as soon as you help them set up their shop ID, if they don't have one already, you'd make a PayShop payment to them and they have the cash available in their bank account immediately. Then you can take your goods or services. If you do a payment to a shop ID, whether it's with Time Bank any other banking institution. In general, making a payment to a shop ID is cheaper in bank charges than it is with making a pay shop payment to a regular bank account. Remember to like the video down below and the comment section over there is specifically designed where you can ask any questions you have regarding this payment method or any other financial questions. I personally read all the comments and reply to them myself. You might even inspire a future video with your brilliant questions. Thank you for your time.